TVC News, Lagos. Moving on to Abuja, where the Supreme Court has upheld the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which affirmed the election of Peter Mba as duly elected governor of Enugu State. A five-member panel led by Justice Muhammad Garba held that the Labour Party and its candidate failed to prove the allegation of substantial non-compliance with the Electoral Act against INEC. The allegation that uh, the governor was not qualified to contest the election due to his alleged certificate forgery, uh, the panel ruled that that was also vague. It's a, it's a decision that is consistent with previous decisions of the court on the issues that were calibrated before the Supreme Court. The only area that is new is with regards to Section 137 of the Electoral Act, in which the Supreme Court today has reaffirmed that that novel provision in our electoral law does not take away the responsibility of a petitioner to still prove his case by oral and documentary evidence. Yeah. So uh, to that extent, uh, I think that this setting in the law is helpful both to the bench and to the bar. And we can now advise clients with some degree of certitude that given a certain set of facts, this is likely to be the outcome. In related development, the governor of Enugu State, Peter Mba, has dedicated his victory at the Supreme Court to God Almighty as he is prepared to deliver on all election promises. Bamidilia Jai has more. It is a celebration galore at the government house in Egun as supporters of Governor Peter Mba trunk the Lion Building to celebrate Governor Mba's Supreme Court judgment victory. Political leaders, academics, civil servants dance in appreciation to what they call as end to the litigation of the 2023 governorship election petition. <laughs> Governor emerged with all smiles to receive the supporters. Addressing his supporters, the governor says his administration will double its effort to achieve it the greater Enugu state. Hold your pens firmly and tick with us as we drill down into those electoral promises. As we celebrate this affirmation of your electoral mandate, please continue to spare moments of prayers for us. Beseech God on our behalf for an ultimate greater Enugu state. The government acknowledged that the election petition was a distraction that did not slow their speed of progress. But I think what is important is that they will now relax and begin to hold us accountable, like His Excellency has said, that they should follow us through with our social. You could see that he has started keeping the campaign promises that he made. Within 180 days, he has brought water back to Enugu State. The supporters are elated to identify with the governor on a Supreme Court victory. So I think that this win that we receive today is a win for the good people of Enugu State. If you have been looking around the Enugu State, you know that you have not been waiting, you have been working. We are now one united Enugu State. Earlier, the five-member panel of the Supreme Court, led by Justice Muhammad Garba, held that the Labour Party and its candidate, Chijoke Edoga, failed to prove the allegation of non-compliance with the electoral law and resolve all issues in favour of the governor. Bamidele Ajayi, TVC News, Enugu.